Hi guys, welcome to this video. In this video, we analyze a paragraph summary question. This is a CAT 2017 question. Uh, what do paragraph summary questions consist of? Very simply, one paragraph followed by four options. You need to identify the option which is the best summary for this paragraph. Uh, the main idea, the main point, the central theme, central point of the paragraph is the key. That is what you need to identify. For that, read the paragraph very, very carefully. Keep summarizing it while you read it. For each of the past three years, temperatures have hit peaks not, not seen since the birth of meteorology and probably for, not for more than 1,10,000 years. The amount of CO2 in the year is at its highest in 4 million years. So global temperatures have hit peaks which have not been seen in the last 1,10,000 years. CO2 is at an all-time high. This does not cause storms like Harvey. So this is not the cause behind Harvey. There have always been storms and hurricanes along the Gulf of Mexico, but it makes them wetter and more powerful. So it adds more energy to them. As the seas warm, they evaporate more easily, provide energy to storm fronts. As the air above them warms, it holds more water vapor. For every half a degree Celsius in warming, there is about 3% increase in atmospheric moisture content. So what is this uh, increase in temperatures leading to? It's making storms wetter, more powerful, more energy in them. Scientists call this the clausius clapeyron equation. So this uh, particular scientific fact is the clausius clapeyron equation. That is all. This means the skies fill more quickly and are more to dump. The storm surge was greater because sea levels have seen have risen 20 centimeter as a result of more than 100 years of human related global warming which has melted glaciers and thermally expanded the volume of seawater. So in the last he gives us this relationship if you go in the reverse order human beings have caused global warming this has led to an increase in seawater this has risen by 20 percent since there is more water the skies have more uh, there is more the temperatures have gone up there is greater evaporation uh, since the, there is greater evaporation right more energy is going into these storms they become better and more powerful the skies are filling up more and they are dumping more so as you can see it's it's a kind of a chain reaction that has been set and everything is connected to one another right so the passage is basically about global warming how it is causing storms to be much more powerful than before right and that is what the paragraph is about now let us keep this in mind while analyzing the answer options option number one the storm of harmonies Harvey is one of the regular annual ones from the Gulf of Mexico. Global warming and Harvey are unrelated phenomena. A, this passage is not about Harvey. Harvey is just one of the examples. We don't know it's a regular annual ones from the Gulf of Mexico. Uh, global warming and Harvey are unrelated or related. We don't know. No such information there. There is just a passing reference to Harvey in this case. B, global warming does not breed storms but makes them more destructive. Uh, fair enough, the clausius clapeyron equation, though it predicts potential increase in atmospheric moisture content, cannot predict the scale of damage storms wreck. Remember, the clausius clapeyron equation just gives you that 3% relationship. It does nothing else. So whether it can predict or the scale of damage or not, or rather than saying it does nothing else, there is no other fact related to clausius clapeyron equation that has been mentioned in the passage. We don't know whether it can predict the scale of damage or not. We, in that context, this equation is not mentioned and this passage is not about the clausius clapeyron equation as well. Remember, that. Next, global warming melts glaciers resulting in seawater volume expansion. This enables more water vapor to fill the air above faster. Remember our chain reaction. This is what is happening. Uh, thus, modern storms contain more destructive energy. So this option, the chain reaction that we talked about in the previous slide, right? Uh, global warming is causing glaciers to melt resulting in seawater volume expansion. There is greater water vapor to fill the air above faster leading to further more intense storms. That is what had been talked of in the paragraph. That is what we had finalized as well when we started going in the reverse order in the, in the previous slide. And this is exactly what this option does, right? Now, option number D, uh, we will study it for the sake of, uh, even though we've identified the correct answer, we should still analyze it, see why is it incorrect. It is naive to think that rising sea levels and the force of tropical storms are unrelated. 
A, there is no such judgment in the passage, right? There is no such reference to naivety that these two are unrelated and we are being naive about it. Harvey was destructive as global warming has armed it with more moisture content. Again, no such thing with respect to Harvey has been mentioned, right? It might have been more destructive, right? He just says that Harvey is one of the animals, one of the storms. That is what he says. But this may not be true of all storms. Again, there is no comparison between Harvey versus other storms, right? Harvey is just a word, right? So if you go back to the reference to Harvey in the given case, right? This does not come like storms like Harvey. There have always been storms and hurricanes along the Gulf of Mexico. No mention whether it's an annual storm, no mention of uh, Harvey versus other storms. No such things mentioned. Harvey is not even the central character in this case. Hence ruled out as well. So the correct answer here is option number C. This is how you analyze answer option. This is how you analyze paragraph summary context and content, right? Hopefully so. You've learned something valuable from this video and how to go about these questions. Thank you very much for watching this video and happy learning.